Hey, what's going on guys? Disabled American veteran living life here in Medellin, Colombia. How you guys doing today? So first of all, let me apologize for not putting out more videos on this channel. I have been concentrating more on retired and happy because I was focused more when I left on getting back to the country. And now that I'm back, I'm definitely am going to start putting out more content on this channel, which is my veterans channel. That's all that's going to be talked about on this channel. No other topics will come up on this channel other than information to help veterans who maybe didn't know about, uh, you know, different benefits that they're entitled to or services they may be able to get in a particular country that they're in. So I can tell you guys that moving forward, that's what this channel is going to be about. Now to give you guys some updates on me and what's going on with me personally with the Department of Veterans Affairs, I recently applied for Vogue Rehab here uh, in Colombia. Uh, the actual office that handles that is in Texas. I think it's in Houston, Texas. But um, I'm simply trying to either go to a class here at a university to learn Spanish or have a tutor or take a class online. I also have a current claim in to upgrade one of my SMC benefits, which is SMCS, to either L or L and a half. I also have that going on. And I'm going to talk about those things in different videos as I go through. And there's going to be two videos per week minimum on this channel. So this is one now, and there'll probably be another one either Wednesday or Thursday uh, going over my current claim that I have in right now for aid and attendance. I already have SMCS for housebound, but uh, I'm telling them that I need a little bit more help and the people that I'm using with the third party VA services are also writing them a letter informing them why I need more help. So that's medical evidence you're gonna need along with a statement that I got from my psychiatrist, uh, the last one that I saw um, last month in August online through telehealth, VA telehealth I saw her online for the last time and informed her that the rest of my care is going to be done here in this country because this is where I'm living full time. It really doesn't make sense for me to keep trying to go back to VA appointments when I can actually get all the services done here. Anything that's a specialty item that I can't get here now that the borders are back open and hopefully things can get back somewhat to normal, I could just fly to Florida, go to a VA facility. Uh, let them know what I need. I may have to stay there for a day or two to actually get it and then fly back. Like if there's a certain medication that I get that's not on my list of service connections, I can just go to Florida, you know, when I run out, get it in Florida and then come back. Um, now that's something I could also have set up to where Florida would have my Florida mailing address where they can send it to that and then have it shipped from my mailing address here. So there's many different ways around it, guys. But I just wanted to come on and apologize first for not putting out more content on this channel and to let you guys know that there are going to be two, a minimum of two videos a week. The comments section will also be open. So whatever questions you all have, which I don't know everything, okay? Uh, sometimes I may just put screenshot information from the VA's own website explaining what something is or... Uh, there might be other locations where I'm able to get information and, pr and spread it on to you guys, okay? Now, for those of you who are interested in coming to Colombia or going to the Dominican Republic, if you're looking for uh, third-party services and you're looking to stay there permanently, I definitely have numbers where you can contact these individuals and sign up for the third-party care. Now, I'm stressing third-party because this is not the U.S. government. The U.S. government has absolutely nothing to do with these third party services. I wanna be absolutely clear about that. So do not come to these countries and you're only 20% and you're getting all these services done in the, at the VA in the States. They're not gonna do that here. Excuse me, 50%, that means to say 20%. At 50% or higher, you can pretty much get anything done in the US. That's not how it works overseas. Overseas, the foreign medical program only deals with service connections. So whatever your service connections are, that's all they're gonna take care of, okay? If you were getting free dental in the States and you're coming here expecting the same thing, unless it's service connected, it is not gonna happen. You're gonna have to pay for that out of pocket. All right, guys, so hopefully that part is clear. 
But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching as always. Again, the comment sections are gonna be open. So any questions you all have, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, sometimes there's information out there that other veterans have gone through and they'll be able to put in, input information in the comment section uh, to give a little bit more detail in case I don't have any familiarity with whatever it was. But until then, guys, 